Hi, today I have a board with me, which is very similar to Raspberry Pi. But is it worth spending two extra bucks and true Raspberry Pi killer? Let's find it out. Let's start with the processor of the board itself. The board is powered by the Intel Atom X5 Z8350 processor, which is a 64-bit CPU clocked at 1.92 GHz, which sounds like age-old processor, but it is power efficient in this case and way too powerful than Raspberry Pi. And speaking about the RAM, a board has option for you. Either you can choose 1 GB, 2 GB, or 4 GB of DDR3 memory. And Raspberry Pi has only 1 GB DDR2 memory, which is a previous generation memory. So now let's compare them physically. Both the boards are of the same size. Also, Ethernet, USB, and the GPIOs are also located at the same place as the Raspberry Pi. Only difference is power input port and the CSI BSI port. Do I like the similar design to Raspberry Pi? Yes, because people who love to keep their board in case won't have to struggle to find one. Enough of the comparison. What is the reason to buy this board? Let me show you. EMMC, that is onboard storage, which can be useful and faster than few SD cards available in the market. And also, you won't have to spend extra money on SD cards. The power supply which you can get from the website is rated at 5V 4A and most importantly, it is totally modular. So no matter where you live, you won't have to buy adapter. The only thing I don't like about this board is there is no onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you have to buy it separately. Here are the results of your benchmarks that are found on the openbenchmark.org. So you can compare it with the other boards and decide whether you want to buy one or not. At the end of this video, I would like to thank Upboard for sending this product for the review and don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe for more awesome videos like this and I will see you guys in the next one.